actually we're not with the kids in downtown Kedipathos and look at that for a view this is Rickos Beach by the way and I'll tell you what summer really is in full swing I haven't seen it this busy since last year we're going to go on a little trek into downtown Kedipathos and if you look very carefully out into the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea you can see that someone is paddling like crazy because they understand that they are in downtown Cato paradise now we're going to head along the trek of what is called the hotel strip road into downtown Kedo Paphos and I'm going to do a little treat for you I'm going to take you into every single reception area but we're not going to dismount but you're going to get a pretty good look at one or two of the hotels and perhaps one of the hotels could be the hotel that's waiting especially for you perhaps you're going to get on a big bird very very soon indeed and you're wondering where is perhaps the Athena Beach Hotel where is the Aquamari Hotel well sit back and relax because this little video could be especially for you now please forgive the inulations that are in the Tarmacadam on the road could be one of the worst roads in the world but there's no doubt that Rickos Beach is certainly one of the best beaches in the world and as you start to feast your eyes and digest there's cars literally everywhere the beach is unbelievably busy and of course the summer season has only just begun we've got beach bar after beach bar perhaps you fancy this one this is the cabana one of the favorite beach bars of two barons from downtown damp cardiff big shout out to baron jeremy and of course baron simon they'll be coming back to Paphos on the 16th of november yes the date is memorized because of course on the 17th of december they are going to the downtown cato Paphos mall with Miss ochin gracilia labouf and she is going to spend the living daylights out of them there you go let's have a chuckle on their behalf what about this one the thea that's another beach bar sitting on the cusp of Rickos Beach. But of course, if you want to go to the most famous beach bar in the world, it's called Rickos Beach Bar and it sits on the cusp of the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea on Rickos Beach itself. And it's coming up right now on the left hand side. This is a beach bar that started a long, long time ago and the beach took its name from Signor Ricos. There it is on the left hand side and it's got a great vibe and some oldie world feel and um, if you if you go there I'm pretty sure that you want to go back again and again sit there in the shade and look out into that blue 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 Mediterranean Sea. Now we're going to take a left and we're going to start to join the correct title of the road is Pasadonis Avenue, by the way, but it's much easier to just call it the Hotels Road, the Hotel Strip. And we are going to deviate a little bit and head into each of the reception foyer areas for the car. So perhaps you might catch a glimpse of the hotel that's going to give you a spectacality of a holiday indeed. Now, if there's somewhere that you would like me to go, drop it into the comments and you never know. That little video may be coming very, very soon indeed with your name written all over it. And on that note, if you do like what you see, smash the like, smash that subscribe, and please don't forget to keep on coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness as I take you on my travels in and around Paphos. Right, the first hotel on the block, it's known as the Louis Fierton Beach. I think the name gives it away it sits on the cusp of the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea this is the main entrance and this is the car park outside and there is the hotel and we're going to drive right past its drop off and collection area and of course through those trees over there is a spectacality of a swimming pool and of course the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea 
And of course, if you want to see a tour of that hotel, why not go and pop the name of the hotel that you fancy into the search bar on YouTube, followed by the magic words, Marika and me, and guess what? More often than not, we are being chased out of the hotel, especially for you. If it's a hotel that you want us to visit, well, drop it into the comments and perhaps gift us a virtual coffee or two via the Buy Me A Coffee platform and you never know. We might be getting chucked out of a hotel for you very, very soon indeed. Let's take a left and let's head into the Pioneer Beach, yeah? This could be that perfect hotel. Grand looking hotel, isn't it? The name written up in gold is Shooting Fountain. And of course it is a spectacality of a hotel indeed. And guess what? We've been thrown out of this one as well. Hopefully if you're booked in, they'll treat yourselves with that little bit more courtesy. So let's keep on going. Let's join the Hotel Strip Road again. We've got to go left, obviously. Well, unless we want to go over the pavement. Hey, up, parking sensors are going off and they're sensing the pavement across the road. The auto knocking off of the engine system has knocked on again. What's going on with these cars? Even though you try and override it, it won't allow you to do it. But anyway, there we go. That is the Asamina Suites Hotel, by the way. Very tight to get into there, but a nice hotel, five star, and a very, very luxurious one indeed. This is the Aquamari Hotel. Again, a bit tight to get in and out of, but we'll go in this area over here. The main drop off is just over there, by the way. But the actual entrance to the hotel is here. But it's just tight, so we won't bother. Anyway, Ivor Mari. Do you want to go into this one? This is a posh one, by the way. Adults only, so we don't really know what goes on in there because we realise that they would probably chuck us out before we even got through the main entrance. But there we go, a spectacality of a hotel indeed. And perhaps if your name is Lord of the Marcus with a Tesla, you could come in your electric car, you see, and charge it up. You could paddle like crazy through the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. There's no doubt that the parking sensors in this car are very, very sensitive indeed. Now, to give you a little bit of a treat, we're gonna go down this little nook and cranny and look at that. That is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Oh my goodness. A view, quite simply, good enough to take your breath away. Do you like it? I'll bet you do. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Come on, let's keep on going. Let's do a little bit of off-roading. Do you fancy it? Yeah, of course you do. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Beaches galore. You see little hidden coves. Now and again, on the little channel known as Marie Cremay, we like to bring you those little treats. Look at that. That is the little cove to the rear of the Aquamari Hotel and the Iva Mari Hotel. Wow, people having a great, great time indeed. Let's circumnavigate this little bit of rough off-roading. The coastline of Paphos is quite rugged, by the way, but there are little hidden coves like behind that hotel. So stick with us as we get back to the main road. And of course, we're gonna enter one or two more foyers before we get to the main event, which of course is the downtown Cape of Paphos promenade and harbor area. So if you've not been to Paphos before, you really are in for a treat. I promise you that. A nice little resort, not the biggest resort in the world. Everything is compact. Most of the road works and all the improvements now are complete, by the way. And anything that involves you is complete. So you are gonna have a fabulous, fabulous holiday when you come here. If your name is Lady Angie, she commented the other day and she was curious to know from the Avanti Hotel where the beach was. It's literally across the road. Stick with us, Angie, and I'm gonna take you to that beachfront. Cypria Bay, difficult to get in there. There was a car stuck at my bottom. And this one now is coming up. It's the Plaza, Cypria Maris Plaza. Okay, so there's the main entrance. So you can get out undercover. You've got all sorts of facilities like taxis, you can rent a bike and all these kind of things. And this taxi is dropping some people off, but you can feast your eyes and digest the beauty of the main foyer area while I hunt for a cigarette lighter. Well, a cigar lighter actually. And we'll light up a big boy while we think of, let me think, Baron Von Cigar. Yeah, big shout out to 
the Lord of the Martin. Big shout out to his girl, greatest, 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 greatest accountant in the world. And she's got a smile to boot. That, of course, is our girl and his girl, Lady Victoria. And a big shout out to a new convert to sub car smoking. He's known as Sir Johnny of the Debt. And of course, his girl, and she is a beauty. No doubt about that. All the way in downtown Newcastle. Big shout out to Lady of the Amy. And of course, we're looking forward to you guys when you come back to Paphos very, very soon indeed. Let's keep going. Rejoining the Hotel Strip Road, Pasadonis Avenue. And we're going to keep on heading down towards downtown paradise. This one coming up now is the Ledger Beach Hotel. This hotel had a massive refurbishment last year. And look at it. It looks very, very nice indeed, doesn't it? And of course, you've just seen the rear beach area. Could be that perfect hotel for you when you come to downtown Paphos. Let's keep going. There's more and more to see. And of course, across the road, there's apartment complexes. The Eliathan Resort is over there. So hopefully you can get a bearing of how close we are to the action of the promenade and the harbour area. The Ledra Beach for Hotel, for example, on foot, you can go this way or on the coastal pathway. It will take you 15 to 20 minutes to get to the promenade and the harbour area. But like I say, plenty of bars and plenty of restaurants around here. This is the Athena Beach Hotel. Let's drive through their drop-off and pick-off area. Many people come to this hotel and they always say what a great hotel it is. And of course, quite recently, we had the girl known as Lady Whitney, who likes that little bit of brightness in her life. And of course, she was proposed to by the man of her dreams. And of course, that is the Lord of the GAs. If you want to see that little video, go and hunt down in the YouTube search bar, Marie Cremie Ocean Vision, and I'm pretty sure that the video will come up especially for you. Very annoying, these parking sensors, aren't they? Very, very annoying indeed. When I find the button, I will be uh, hitting it with a hammer, but I can't find it. That's the problem with these cars these days, isn't it? They, they hide all these buttons because they believe that uh, it's safety and all those kind of things. And, and maybe it is, but I've never damaged a car when I've been parking it, so I don't really need them. Anyway, Lady Sally of the Briar, are you waiting? I bet you are. Grab the hand of Lord of the Mass, because look, there is your hotel. The Lewis Imperial Beach, it's waiting for you, Lady Sally. Not long to go, and you'll be on a big bird, or perhaps coming on a canoe, who knows? But you will be jetting into downtown Kedapapos, and you will be staying in this rather nice little hotel. And it is a nice little hotel. Come and get around, let's have a look. It's tight, you know. It is tight. I mean, I'm actually doing an illegal mover now, by the way, because to be honest, you're not supposed to come in that way or go out that way or whatever it is, but hey, it doesn't matter. I'm Mr. Paul. I've been doing naughty things all of my life and luckily so far got away with it. There we are. Lady Sally, did you enjoy that little revisit to the Lewis Imperial Hotel? One of the hotels that's often forgotten when you're driving down the hotel strip because it's set back that little bit, but I'll tell you what, it sits right on the cusp of the bluest, bluest, bluest Mediterranean Sea in the world. And it is literally a stone's throw from where the action is in downtown Cato Paphos. So, come on, let's keep on going. Do you fancy popping down and having a sneaky look at a little beach curve? Do you fancy that? Come on then, let's take a left and let's head to the rear of the Olympic Lagoon resort right across the road is the avanti hotel lady angie this is the route to the beach and look just before you get to the beach you can even treat yourself to an ice cream or two and i'll tell you what that sky is looking blue the sea oh my goodness i've never seen it looking so blue and of course mr paul is dressed head to toe in blue that must mean one thing all that's missing is you. So come on, get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like absolute crazy. Because Paphos, Cyprus, Marika and me, oh yeah. We're waiting, especially for you. Look at that. 
This is one of the coves to the rear of the Olympic Lagoon Resort in downtown Kennepatbos. There's an awful lot of people having a fabulous, fabulous time. And remember, if you come to any of these beaches to the rear of any of the hotels, if you get some, what should we call them? Gumbaru, shall we say, who says, oh, this is a private beach for the hotel. They are talking absolute rubbish. All of the beaches in Paphos and in and around Cyprus are owned by the government and they are for the people of Cyprus, whether you are a resident or a tourist, to enjoy yourselves and have a spectacality of a day indeed. Like these people are here. Wow, absolutely fabulous. It's just lovely to sit here and watch people having a great, great time, isn't it? Jet skiing, parasailing, swimming, paddling, you name it, it's all going on in downtown Kenapathos. What an absolutely wonderful day it is. I'm going to leave you to feast your eyes and digest. I'm going to light this big boy cigar. Quite simply, a view to take your breath away. Do we keep on going? Come on then, let's get going. It's a nice big car park by the way. It's a bit it's a bit rough, don't get me wrong. But if you drive in on it carefully and slowly in your hire car, you'll be alright, shall we say. Right, that's the Olympic Lagoon. That's the resort that's apparently the best five-star hotel in downtown Paphos. Drop it in the comments. Is it the best? Or perhaps do you feel that the Amavi is better? Or perhaps the Annabelle is better? Everyone's got their own preferences, haven't they? Because hotels give to different people different things. Perhaps you like a more relaxed atmosphere. Or perhaps you come in with the kids. If you come in with the kids and you want a five-star resort, there's no doubt that the Olympic Lagoon Resort is probably the best hotel in downtown Paphos. Now, talking to Angie again, right in front of you is the Avanti Four Star Hotel. That's the rear area with the pool area. So I think now, hopefully, you understand just how close you are to the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. This area here now is known as the Triangle. On the left is the front entrance to the Olympic Lagoon. So let's go and have a quick look at it. There we go. It's quite grand, it's got a nice big roundabout and you can dance around it as Marika has done once or twice. And then you can storm the main reception, which we have done once or twice. And of course, as tradition goes, we have been thrown out. But hey, it's all fun and games on the little channel known as Marika and me. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Please don't forget to keep on coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness as I take you on my travels in and around Paphos. And please don't forget, if you want us to go somewhere, drop it in the comments, gift us a couple of coffees on the Buy Me Coffee platform, and of course, that little video will be coming very, very soon. Indeed, especially for you. And Pura Resort on the left-hand side. You can drive in, but when you come to drive out, you've got to pop in a cove and it's just too complicated. So we're not going to drive in there. This one here is the Amavi Five Star Luxury Beachside Hotel. And I'll tell you what, it really is something special. If you're looking for a fabulous, fabulous holiday, this could be the place for you. And I think they're going to let us in. Let's have a look. Are we going to go in? Yes, there we go. And it's a nice, nice hotel, by the way. Again, we've stormed that reception, hunted in the YouTube search bar, Marika and me, Amavi Hotel you're going to find us prancing and dancing and uh, we were accosted by a manager as well and he delayed, decided to allow us to continue to film and what a clever man he was because the first comment on the video is from a gentleman who then booked a two-week holiday in the Amavi Hotel. I got a feeling we should be on some kind of commission.
maybe, one of these days. Let's get back onto the Hotel Strip Road, past the Donis Avenue, and let's keep on working away. And I'm pretty sure there's a girl in downtown Hartlepool who's getting very, very excited indeed. Yep, here we go. Lady Ness, Lady Maggie, if your name's Baroness, oh, 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 oh. Sweet Caroline, look at that. It is the one and only Alexander the Great Hotel. One of the most popular hotels in Paphos. Great reputation. If you're looking for a great holiday, it could be the hotel that's waiting, especially for you. Let's rejoin Pasadonis Avenue, but don't click off just yet because we're gonna keep on going. The next one on the block is the Almira Five Star Luxury Resort. And again, from here, if you're on foot, no more than five, maximum 10 minutes, depends on your health and your fitness and all those kind of things, obviously, but five to 10 minutes and you'll be dancing and you'll be prancing up and down the downtown Keto Paphos Promenade. Here we go, Almira Hotel is coming up here. Let's see if they're gonna let us in. They might do, they might not, I'm not sure. No, they decided that we've got to have a code to get in. See, in their great, great wisdom, which is clever, but at the same time not clever, because perhaps if you were coming there for dinner, then you would want to go in, wouldn't you? Without having the inconveniences of having to get out and go to the reception and get the code. Now, we understand that they are stopping people just parking up and then perhaps walking into the promenade. Anyway, there you go. The barrier to get out is open, by the way. So let's pop in this way. No, it's just come down again. <laughs> there you go. Life. See, I'll go. I'll go the wrong way anytime. Not bothered. I've lived inside for 16 years, so we don't know what a one-way system is. As long as you're only going one way, it's all right, isn't it? Annabelle Hotel. Do you fancy trying to get in there? Let's go and have a look. Let's see if they'll let us in. I think they've decided in their great wisdom as well not to allow people to just drive. My goodness, what's going on in the world? That's what I've got to say. And I've got to go into reverse. And you know us locals, we do not like to reverse. But anyway, stick with us. Let's try not to run over any tourists who are walking up and down the pavement. But sometimes some of these ideas of these hotels, by the way, are a little bit stupid. But we do understand that they are trying to stop people illegally parking. Fair enough. We'll give them that. Because... Even the mayor, the man in charge of Paphos, is trying to stop us illegally parking. You may have noticed these metal things sticking up out of the pavement. What's going on in the world? That's what I want to know. Pavements are to park cars on. And yet again, another one has been clipped and another one. So don't worry. By this time next year, normality will return and all of these pavements will have cars parked on them and all the roads will be perfect for you to walk on. You see? There is a logic in there somewhere. Downtown Cater Paphos, Promenade and Harbour area is right in front of us. And I tell you what, it's a spectacality of a day indeed. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to smash that like, smash that subscribe. And please don't forget to keep on coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness. I'd like to do two final big shout outs to two superstars who joined us last night. One gentleman, he is known as Sir Mark of the Yarmouth and of course another gentleman who is known as Sir Greg of Telford. Thank you for joining us and we will look forward to your company again very very soon indeed. Thanks for watching. That's the M Boutique Hotel, by the way. Not quite on the blueness, but very, very close indeed. Brand new hotel, and again, you can hunt that down in YouTube. Marika and me, M Boutique, up it'll come, especially for you. simply worth dying for. And even the big boy, the ocean vision, is sitting there waiting a 
especially for you. Thanks for watching.